Hi, I'm Carolyn Leah, the Director of Christian Discipleship at Beulah Presbyterian Church, and this is a Knowing Place story. The story today is Jesus' last Passover, and it is the second story in a series of Holy Week Knowing Place stories. It's the story of Jesus and the Last Supper he had with his disciples. After we hear the story, there will be some wondering questions, a time for us to think a little deeper about the story. So let's hear the story today. Once every year, the people of God go up to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover. To remember how God led them through the waters to freedom. Every year, Jesus would celebrate the Passover in Jerusalem with his family and friends. But this year, Jesus' friends did not want to go. They were afraid. They said to Jesus, don't go. The people in Jerusalem want to kill you. But Jesus said, we must go. On the day of Passover, some of Jesus' friends went to an upper room to prepare the feast. When evening came, Jesus and his friends went to the upper room to celebrate the feast of the Passover. They were still afraid. Then Jesus said the words of the Passover feast in a way they had never heard before. He took the bread and he blessed it. And he broke it. And he said to his friends, Take, eat. This is my body, broken for you. Then he took the cup and said, Drink, this is my blood shed for you. Then 
Then they sang a hymn, a special song. And then they went out to the garden to pray. Then it happened. People who didn't like Jesus took him. They wouldn't let him go. Later, they nailed him to a cross to kill him. And he died. It was very sad. But then, Three days later, God did some amazing thing. God made Jesus alive again. So every time we take and eat this bread and drink this cup, we remember God made Jesus alive again. And we remember Jesus. I wonder how it felt to be around that table and to hear Jesus say, Take, eat. This is my body broken for you. I wonder how his friends felt taking the bread and eating it and drinking from the cup. I wonder how they felt when Jesus died. I wonder how they felt when God made Jesus alive again. I wonder if you have ever been close to a table like this. I wonder what you wonder about this story. Thanks for listening to another Knowing Place story.